Yo, welcome Yo. to a new series that we're gonna do. Yep. Looking into the soul of the Kari Five. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're really interested to see what's inside. So let's get it started with the dismantle. Alright, so we just took off the laces uh, on this pair. Of course, you guys can see uh, that. Ooh, the, okay, so the fly wire goes through the actual right here, fly wire right here. We just took that off. And here's the actual fly wire strap or fly trap strap. Sorry about that. And then um, you have this fly wire right here independent uh, of any kind of. Oh no, I guess it kind of does go through, which we'll get into. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so you got some fly wire. I wonder if it goes all the way through, but there is some stitching which we'll get into. But yeah, and also you guys can see that it is a Tecfit boot. The tongue does come down here to attach to the upper. And of course we have the insole. Probably just your basic work light insole with Kyrie Irving's signature right here. So that is glued on. So you guys can see the glue marks here. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting the tongue because we're gonna use a bandsaw to cut the shoe in half. You know, the tongue's just gonna flop around when we try to do it. So we're gonna take some scissors, just your average household scissors, and start with the tongue. Uh, here you can see inside the tongue, just some padding, some foam padding, two layers in the tongue. We're going to take this bandsaw, fire it up, chop this shoe in half lengthwise and see how it goes. Do not try this at all. <laughs> Okay, so we have the Kyrie 5 cut in half. Uh, it's really interesting. Uh, feeling the final is actually kind of soft. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it soft. is. Yeah, it's pretty soft. But feeling it like on the outside, uh, I would say, no, I would say we're tripping and it's pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here's the Zoom Turbo. Yeah. You guys can see that. Very interesting. Yeah. You know, there's the fibers from the zoom unit. You have the material. The material is double layered, you guys can see. You have the EM material right here. And then you have another material. And then you also have, so it's basically triple layered. See that? Mm-hmm. So you have, oh, this is like a foam material. So there's a foam material in between this kind of inner booty material and then the EM. So I guess it's kind of like double, triple layer. If you count the, the foam as a material, you got the tongue, pretty padded, yeah, of course. And then you have the flat trap strap. And of course, you guys can see the foam in the back as well. That comes up a good amount. Stroke board. Oh yeah, the stroke. Feeling that it's really stiff. You feel that stroke board? Like yeah. feel it like this, like from this way. Oh my God. Yeah, it's really stiff, right? Okay, so there's like a, a thin, thin layer of foam on top of a very, very rigid, Type of plastic. Yeah. Oh. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see it. We'll, we'll, show, we'll show some uh, close ups. Yeah, we'll, we'll fully get into the midsole and, and start separating stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and, and all that is stitched down to the upper. Yes. Here you have just the Kyrie box. Just your standard cardboard box. We're not going to cut it up, don't worry. <laughs> we got a size eight and a half. Let's actually weigh the shoe. This is actually brand spanking new. It's a new shoe. 14.11 ounces, so it's kind of heavy. I got my trusty razor, husky razor tool. Let's cut it up. So 
Donnie Boy just cut this up. And so you can see the underlay, so that part's really hard to cut. So yeah, it's pretty strong. Yeah, and of course you guys can see the fly wire here. The two fly wire cables that kind of connect, I think, like right like this. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you guys can see the plastic here for the heel counter as well. So here's the foam, that's a, the heel counter, that's plastic, and then you have the underlaying material. Right. So now we got the strobe board there. And uh, you have a few holes. I wonder what those holes are for. Yeah, interesting. You can kind of see cool. the, uh, the zoom turbo yeah. protruding here. That's really cool. Uh, the, the initial layer on this strobe board is actually kind of a soft foam. Yeah. Underneath that is kind of a harder plastic. And you can see all the stitching here to tighten, um, to attach the upper to the midsole. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see from here, but also you see that, that foam that Donnie Boy was talking about? That's kind of like the strobe board, but there's a really thin layer of plastic right there. Like this really thin layer of white plastic. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, that protruding zooming, it looks really cool. Yeah. Can you, I, I can feel the compression of the zooming. Can you feel it? Oh, yeah. 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 Donnie Boy just, you see that gray part? That gray part is more of like a, I don't know what this is. It's, it's like a foam or something. Yeah, it's like part of the strobe board, but yeah, so. But the thing is like, it's really stiff, but then you put the heat gun to it and it comes off like like jelly or something like that. Yeah. Kind of crazy. And then you see that white part, that white part in the um, heel is the actual probably strobe board. The strobe board's like on there though. Really? Yeah, it's that thin plastic thing. But it's like, oh, it's like a fiber almost or something. Yeah, I, I think it's a, a glued down the yeah. process. So it should be a lot easier if you heave it up. Yeah. So it was a lot harder than it looked. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So we needed to, so we, we tried taking off the outsole and this is the best we could do. The heat gun actually burned through the midsole and um, it's just, it's it's burning, it smells like burnt rubber in here. Crazy. So we just kind of uh, stopped right there. But here is the rubber. This is the rubber. Very interesting. It's really glued on. So I have a new appreciation for the level of glue these people use. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. So you have the zoom unit right here. It's really hard to take off and we tried to not pop it, but it popped because the heat gun popped it. There was no other way to take this off because, you know, the the plastic is actually the zoom unit is actually glued in. Yeah, the zoom unit is articulated. It's basically throughout the entire forefoot. And yeah. when it was when it was unpopped, it felt really nice. Yeah. And also, if you guys can see on the lateral side, it does come up a lot right here. Let's see, like right here. So your foot is actually resting. Let's see. Let's put something, you know, like like that, right? So you have this entire cage. That's why the lateral containment is so good because your foot is actually just hitting this um, phylon. So this phylon comes up a lot. Right, so that's the fine line caging you in. You also have the rubber here coming up a lot. And also you have your heel is locked in as well here. So you put it in, your heel, the, your heel is locked in as well. And also you have the plastic heel counter, which is kind of crazy. Do you see that? You see that plastic right here? Yeah. So that's the plastic heel counter right there, the internal TPU heel counter. The fly trap strap is just an overlaying, uh, I guess, kind of strap. You know, it's not really... I guess it, it is a one piece, it's connected to this piece right here, this EM on the medial side. And you have the fly wire cables here. Alright, so we don't have any 
We don't have any rulers right right now. This is the best ruler that I have, and it's basically yeah. We're gonna some nice calipers to yes to measure these, but so let's measure this. So in the heel, one point one point eight centimeters thick, right? And then in the forefoot, it's one point four centimeters thick. And then the entire zoom unit is around seven millimeters, seven to eight millimeters. So I think uh, Ben, when he uh, was, you know, explaining the Kyrie Five, he said it was like an eight millimeter zoom unit. So it is articulated, but you know the zoom unit is eight eight millimeters. So there is a little bit of an offset, you know. Although it's articulated, you can see it's exposed. Uh, I mean, inside it's just one piece basically. Mm -hmm. It's not like fully, fully separated. Oh, I see. It almost just like um, pinches down in certain areas. Yeah. And the material in this isn't like the the. Well, I guess it is. Is this how they all look inside? Yeah, it's just fibers. But it, it's so, it, it's like um, a fine, they're like hairs. Yeah. So it just looks like little, it looks like literally like a bunch of like dog fur in there or something. It's yeah. kind of crazy. Because like if the fibers weren't there, the air pressure inside the zoom unit would balloon up yeah. inside the middle. So the fibers help keep the zoom unit and the air pressure the same throughout the entire unit. So that's why the, uh, those uh, fibers are there. The struggle board also was really, really hard to get off. And here is the zoom unit, like an indent from the zoom unit right here. There is a really interesting material over this. Yeah. Uh, this little foam material over the struggle actual board. struggle board. So, but yeah, once we heated it up, it came off pretty easily. But once it's stiff, it's really, really stiff and really doesn't get off. So heat gun, applying a lot of heat does soften up the glue because I think this is more of like a like a cloth material, right? Yeah. It's, it's like a struggle board. It's almost like a fiber. Yeah, so I think they, they you know, sticking it up with a lot of epoxy or glue or something like that, you know? Like if you feel this inside here, it's really, really stiff. Yeah. But this is a little bit softer, you know, because we did heat it up. And of course, you have the upper here, right? So you it's, it is double layered. Let's try to take this off. So here's the EM material right here. The EM material is right here. And then Donny Boy said uh, the fuse did make it a lot harder to cut on this side, right? Yeah. And um, you have an underlaying material, which is the inner booty. And uh, it is stitched down right here. So it's stitched down like right here. Cut that off. All right, so that was stitched together. But EM, underlaying material, and then the basically Let's take this apart right here. It is glued down. So you got the tongue right here. So the tongue is attached to this underlaying material that goes over like this. So this tongue helps to make the shoe a little bit better of a fit because if the material is a little bit loose, this tongue has a little bit tighter of a fit as well. So it is a double layered material and there is a lot of foam, foam. Look at all that foam right here inside the heel. If you can see, that is the plastic. That's the TPU plastic heel counter right there. That's plastic, that's the heel counter. All right, so you have, you have the material, this material, and then you have the plastic heel counter, and then you have the foam, and then you have the underlay material in the heel, right? So this is the EM material, it's really, really thin. And underneath it actually has a little bit of glue, it looks like. You know, it's a, it's a little glued down. So that's probably why it's really stiff at first, you know? Mm -hmm. The same thing here, it is glued. And also in the forefoot, it's glued to this. It was glued, so that's why it's a little stiff at first as well when you first get it. You have the fly wire right here, going through it. It's actually going through and attaching to this. And then the rubber is pretty thick here. I'm gonna use my ghetto ghetto ass ruler right here it looks to be around three millimeter four millimeters thick at the highest deepest point which is really interesting so four millimeters thick the rubber anyways that's the dismantling hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to see any other dismantlings uh, tell us down in the comment section below and also if you guys have any tips and tricks on how to take this freaking out so often and stuff like that then tell us down in the comment section below as well but hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to cop the Kyrie 5 we'll leave a link in the description box thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next one later peace